That's right, the impossible no start condition. Here we go. On this beautiful box truck, we had a bad motor, but we had to swap it out. The one thing about the motor that we put into it is that it is a 5.3 from an 05 Tahoe that was flipped over in a wreck, which is key. This absolutely whooped my ass for a whole freaking day until I finally figured out what the issue was. So yes, it did whoop my ass, but at the, at the end of the day, I, I told him up front, hey, I don't think that's gonna work. But um, to prove it why, that was where I had to dig really deep because obviously every time you're a mechanic and you put a motor in and it doesn't start, it's your fault all of a sudden. So I had to prove why it didn't work. But um, yes, it did kick my ass. Here's the motor that came out of it, 4.8 liter. They're both LSs, what should it matter? I told my boss from the get-go, I didn't like it. I didn't think it would work, but he said, oh, he's done this before. So here we go, let's go, we jumped in. We replaced the motor and we had a no start condition. Now I'm pretty sure everybody's been there before where they replaced the motor, put it in and it didn't start. So you always go and check the basic things first. Right here, I'm showing you where I checked for spark. We were getting spark, which is the first thing I always check because you want to make sure that computer is putting spark out to the spark plug so that you can have your combustion in the chamber. The very next thing I went to was the injector to see if the injectors were pulsing like they should. Also a computer controlled component. Went there, check that. You can see right here, I'm getting my ground, which is coming from my computer. It's pulsing like it should be. So what gives? Next, I'm not gonna show what I did here, but I did check for compression and um, cause I was worried about the motor flipping over or just sitting too long and the cylinder walls getting dried out, but we did have good compression. So we had about 120 PSI compression and that was enough for me. What else do you actually need? Okay, you need fuel. So you have four things that you actually need for an internal combustion engine to start. You need spark, fuel, air and compression the air is given i don't even have to talk about it i mean the air that's in the intake and that's already in the combustion chamber is plenty of air that you need to be able to start this engine so what is actually missing and by the way yes i did check for fuel i'll show you right here that we actually were getting fuel now here's the thing too a lot of this stuff i didn't even need to check because the motor that we pulled out that motor over there it was running. The whole reason we replaced it is because they have a lot of metal in their oil. So they do have some kind of internal failure, but it ran. So I already knew, and I just was double checking spark, fuel pressure, injectors firing, ECM being, you know, everything's already was working like it should. So I was so confused. Why would this be a no start with spark, compression, air, fuel? That's all you need. And I know you already probably, if you actually know what I'm talking about, you know that kind of the only thing left is timing. But the firing order for that motor and the firing order for that motor are the same firing order. So now, now you explain the timing to me. Okay, so I'm gonna get to it. So what was the problem? This comes down to a difference in crankshaft reluctor ring. Between 05 and 08, they changed. The crank sensor's in the same location. On both motors, the crank sensor, crankshaft position sensor is right here on the side of the block, on the passenger side of the block. But the teeth, the pickup for that crankshaft position sensor is a different design. If you are gonna try and do a swap, make sure you have the right crankshaft just make sure it's gonna work. If you're gonna go to a whole new ECM and do a whole legit swap, but if you're just trying to put a motor back in a work truck and get going down the road, this is not going to work. So, so that is the impossible no start condition. I just wanted to post it for you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I don't think I'll ever see another engine in my life that has air, fuel, spark, and compression that won't start. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. 
I have another video coming out. This actually, this 4.8 that I got, that we put, this 4.8 that we pulled out, I'm actually gonna be able to keep because it's no good. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do a turbo build. Like and subscribe if you wanna see a turbo build. Comment down below. Turbo, comment down below. LS, give me some ideas, guys, what you guys think. Thanks so much, as always. This is your blue collar mechanic. See you guys next time.